and also um, that's one thing I've been I've been wondering about for quite a while ever since Avengers Endgame has been released. Will Avengers Endgame become the highest grossing film of all time, surpassing James Cameron's Avatar? Well, I don't know about that question, but it sounds quite interesting to some people. Very interesting. Does any of you remember this little scene from the last video? Very interesting question, I say. Right? What's up, Pop Tarters? It's Pop Tart Man here again, and welcome back to another video. And in this video, we're going to be finding out. So, I have this theory in my head, and I've been having a theory. I've been having this theory since ever since Avengers Endgame has been released. And back in February, I, um. I saw this film called Avatar, which is the highest grossing film of all time, and, it's, and the amount of money grossed, Avatar, $2.7 billion, $2. dollars. damn, that should be a lot of pro of it, that should be a lot of pro of it for the director, right? Well, Avengers Endgame has been released like three weeks ago it has, three weeks ago it was, and uh, it's already grossed. $2.5 billion and it's the second highest grossing film of all time. Damn. I mean, it's only been released like three weeks ago and it's already the second highest grossing of all time. Imagine that happened. Imagine if that happened to any other film. I mean, seriously. I've been having this theory I have. Um, Yeah, sorry for that. I've been having this theory I have that ever since Avengers Endgame will come out, Ever since Avengers 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 Endgame's been released, I've been thinking that um it would surpass it would uh, surpass Avatar. So what I'm trying to say is is it'll be, it will make more money than Avatar. Well I don't know if that's gonna happen, but um I saw I saw this live stream I have um showing the amount of money that Avatar and, and Avengers Endgame has grossed and it showed all the progress and at the moment, that Avengers Endgame has got 200 million more dollars to make more. Um, yeah, around that much. Uh, to surpass James Cameron's Avatar. So I wonder if, any, so I wonder if anyone else has been thinking that as well. I wonder, if I'm, I wonder if I'm the only one. Because if I'm the only one that thinks that, that Avengers Endgame, which is a great film by the way, if you haven't seen it, yeah. If it's, I'm wondering if Avengers Endgame is going to surpass Avatar. I'm wondering if I'm the only one. I'll be surprised if I was. So anyway, let's get to it. All right, let's see. What should I say? Avengers Endgame. Avengers Endgame versus Avatar. Box office Avengers Endgame versus Avatar. Hello, and welcome to this week's Movie Math, where, wow, it seems like James Cameron might be sending another congratulatory tweet to the MCU somewhat soon. And maybe this time, it won't take him almost a week to do it. I wow. See you, James Cameron. Yes, well, I'm... Avengers director James Cameron hoping for Avengers, uh, fatigue. What? This video was released, like, two days ago about who will sit on the Iron Throne, Avengers Endgame is only 300 million away. Just 300 million from taking Hollywood's box office throne. A well, throne which again, James money. Cameron has sat on since 1997, adding an extra layer of security in yeah. 2009. James Cameron's the highest person in, um, James Cameron's highest person in Google's Avatar. But that does not mean he's the highest person director of all time. The old-fashioned way with an ad in the Hollywood trade. And you know, it, it's interesting, we're, um, we're going to be talking a little bit how, how, how the industry is changing, but you know, when you send an ad in the Hollywood train... By calling the girl's attitude, I think she's right as well. I think... I think... Yeah, it might be true. Do-do-do, let's find the greenest film for Capelia. Oh, come on, thing, load. Okay, here we are. And if you look right here at the box office worldwide gross, Avatar has grossed two billion dollars, seven hundred eighty-seven million nine hundred sixty-five and eighty-seven dollars. 
and has been holding as the highest grossing film of all time ever since 2010. That's almost an entire decade. Wow. I bet James Cameron should be really proud of that. Yeah, but ever since Avengers The Endgame has been released like three weeks ago, it's grossed 2.5, 2 billion, 580 million, 890 million, and 353 dollars worldwide. So it's a so it's less it's less than three hundred million dollars away from becoming the highest grossing film of all time. And I believe and I think that Avengers Endgame will become the highest grossing film of all time. Man. Imagine that. It's that Avengers it's that there's one difference is this 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 one thing I like um interesting about these two films, Avatar and Avengers Endgame. It's that Avengers Endgame is around three hours long. And Avatar is around about uh, but two uh, two and a half hours, and Avengers Endgame, in case you didn't know, fit, does not feel like ha three hours long like the Lord of the Rings films. It actually feels like two and a half hours. I mean seriously, I learned that from Eric Carter. He's a good YouTuber, by the way. He does versus videos on um on YouTube. He does. Go check out the channel. Go check out this channel if you want. Yeah. And it's quite different in prices. Avengers Endgame is more expensive. It is, yeah. It had a budget of three hundred fifty-six million dollars, and Avatar had a budget of two hundred thirty-seven million. So it's minus. So it's minus one hundred nineteen for Avatar. That's a completely good uh, around good price for a film, actually. Yeah, it's usually quite a high high budget for like a two-hour film. It's usually around. One million to two hundred million dollars. It it always has to be. Not every film uh, has around that money. Some films quite have a quite low budget, like horror films. Yeah, but what I'm saying is, I think Avengers Endgame, by by the end of July, when it stops when it stops coming out in cinema, it might become the highest grossing film of all time. Wow, imagine that. And it's the fifth ever film to gross over two billion dollars, alongside Avatar, Titanic, Star Wars: The Force Awakens, and finally Avengers: Infinity War, which is one of my favorites, including Endgame, by the way. So I think Endgame will become the highest grossing film of all time. Uh, yeah. Will I be right? Will I be wrong? We'll see. We'll see when I um upload a video, another video on June on June thirteenth or before that day. Or any other first day before that. In case um, the money goes up and goes past Avatar. So what I'm trying to say is. That I'm going to upload another video. Uh, to see if. Um, to see what the how much money it's grossing. How much money it's, um, it's grossing. How much money it's grossing Avengers Endgame. Against Avatar. On June 13th. And see how the progress is going. Um, but before, if, if Endgame uh, passes Avatar in, at, the, at the box office, I'll make a video and go like, Oh yes, I was correct. I'm a genius. Will I be right? Will I be wrong? Well, we have only time will tell. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe to this channel. And I'll see you, and I'll see you, with some Five Nights at Freddy's for tomorrow. Bye-bye. And let's see if I'm gonna be, and let's see if I'm right or wrong. Only time will tell.